The angelic face in the photograph on the wall of this Green Hills house is Michael Carruth. This morning, his dream of Olympic gold focused the eyes of the nation on his family's front room. It's like Michael, I was listening to him last night and he said, somebody's going to pinch us, you know. Michael's mother, Joan, shared a few anxious moments with the extended family as the countdown began. There too was Michael's wife, Paula, and his triplet brothers, Martin and William. To put the fight in context was Fred Teeth, the last Irish boxer to reach this stage in Olympic Games. Wayne McCullough's brave performance in his fight added to the anxiety, but sparked off a familiar chant. Off we go for round one. Then the main event began. In a room full of boxers, Michael's performance was analyzed to bits. Right hand Every of the punch Cuban. and jab being greeted by even more raucous cheers. But the early doubts were dispelled by the end of the round score. Round two, and let's hope he can keep this up. And he did just that, despite the best efforts of an unpopular referee. Shake hands on And then it was over. In a few seconds, they would know. And him. He's got it. He's got it. The gold medal. Within minutes, Green Hills was alive with the sound of honking horns. And the name on everybody's lips was Michael Carruth. And there was a fitting tribute from his colleagues in the defense forces. Joan Carruth only emerged from her bedroom when she was sure the fight was over. Words fail me. I'll, next week, I'll probably sink in that Michael is an Olympic champion. But I really like to thank all the family and all the friends and relations and all who have been there all the time with us, not only today, but throughout the years, throughout Michael's career. That's a great day. It's a great day for Green Hills. It's a great day for Ireland in general. It's when a great he came day back from the Seoul Olympics, I knew he was carried shoulder high along the street. What's going to happen when he comes well, back? Well, look at this now. Watch it. Watch it, Hink. I'd say for a gold medal, it's bloody great. <laughs> I'd say that's fair in this world, to stand up for a gold medal. And to see the Irish flag going up and the national anthem getting played. When Jack Charlton came back and he says, if it's like this when we lose, what's it going to be like when we win? And now Michael is going to know what it's going to be like. Michael Carruth receives the gold medal.